Hey planner friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my first spooky spread of the year, my October monthly, in my medium passion planner. Let's get started. So the kit that I'm using for the month of October is Booville from Planner Face and I love this super cute Halloween art so I had to use it and I thought it would pair really nicely with this Halloween washi tape also from Planner Face. I do PR for Planner Face so you can use my code in the description to save yourselves a little bit of money and also mention me for a freebie. As usual with my monthly spreads there's not a huge amount of pen base but I am shading in the top of each calendar box of days where I'm not going to be at work. So I have a few days of annual leave dotted around the month of October and then I don't work weekends and I've also shaded in the check boxes in the bottom left hand corner. As October spans over six weeks it's got one of those squished up calendar spreads that you get in a weekly passion planner which aren't my favourite because I find that I don't really have enough space in each of the calendar boxes to put in all of my events if I have more than like two things going on but it does make for a very stickered up spread. So I'm starting off by using the main washi headers that came in the kit to cover up some of the grey boxes of the days that aren't in October and added in my October header into the top section. I'm then adding in some box covers which I've trimmed to size to fit over the other grey boxes which aren't in the month of October. Usually for my monthly spreads I cut a one centimetre chunk from these box covers to add above the date covers but for this month I thought it would be really cute if I added in some of this doodle washi from Planner Face that I've had since last year because the doodles within this washi fit perfectly with the theme of this kit. But you will notice as this video goes along that the removable matte paper date covers don't seem to like sticking to this washi very much so I have ended up prit sticking them down because they just kept peeling up and yeah you'll notice me sticking them back down throughout the rest of this spread. For the date covers though, I've trimmed these off the main washi headers and because this is a Monday start passion planner, I have to do a little bit of trimming. Planner Face does do a Monday start add-on strip that you can get for all of the monthly kits, but they still have Monday to Thursday on one side, so I would have to trim them anyway. As usual, I'm starting by laying Wednesday back to Monday, trimming Sunday off the left-hand side, and then laying Thursday to Saturday, trimming the sidebar header off and adding Sunday onto that right-hand side. And yeah, those date covers really didn't enjoy sticking to that washi tape, so they start peeling up almost immediately. Moving on to the sidebar, I've trimmed down the decorative sidebar from the kit to cover the people to see and monthly focus boxes. And then I've also cut a tiny little piece of white sticker paper to go between that decorative sidebar and the washi tape along the top of my spread, just to cover up that little bit of the art that's peeking through. I find I have to do this with most of the months with longer names. To cover up the places to go and things to learn boxes, I'm using two of the four hut checklist boxes from the kit with the goals and to buy headers. So the top box is going to be for my gym goals for the month and the one with the important header is just going to be the stuff I need to buy. I think I didn't use the to buy header because I wanted it to be orange. Next I'm using the two skinny washi pieces from the kit to cover the work and personal project sections because I don't use these for projects and then I've cut 6mm chunks from the box covers to cover the break it down section which will be the space for my habit tracker. We can then skip through adding all of the date flags and move on to the rest of the spread. Normally I would have filmed this in two parts so I would have set up the base in the middle of September and then coming towards the end of the month I would have done the actual planning but I started this spread late so I'm just doing it all in one sitting. So over the work project section I'm adding in my mini calendar to track my steps and walkies with Reggie and then in the break it down section I'm adding my month long habit tracker which is just something that I made in Excel and print off on sticker paper myself. So now we can start getting into my actual plans for the month and I'm starting on the first with a quarter box and the fork and knife doodle from the kit to mark in a pub lunch in the countryside. On the second I'm using a half box from the kit and an autumnal kind of leaves doodle from Planner Face to mark in at doing some running around in the Forest of Dean. I'm really excited for this weekend because it's going to be the first time that we've taken Reggie to the forest since we got him so I'm just going to have to hold on to him tightly while he chases all of the squirrels. Also you may have noticed I had to peel up the date flag a little bit so that I could fit this half box under it. That doesn't normally happen with me on monthly spreads and these planner face kits but because this is one of the squished monthly spreads there's not a lot of space in any of these calendar boxes. Moving on to the third, I've cut up some of the appointment labels from this kit to use as Bill G stickers as this slight reformat now means that there are no Bill G stickers in these kits. So I'm just using that half of an appointment label with a credit card doodle from Planner Face. I've then used a flag and a car doodle from the kit to mark in driving home from the forest and I'm using my usual laptop icons to mark in working from home. 
The 6th is the first day that things get a bit squishy in this calendar spread as I try to fit in a bill in the same way that I marked it on Monday and also a birth date. So I'm using one of the solid pieces of washi from the kit and a birthday present doodle. The birthday cake labels are gone from this new kit format and also this fit in a lot better on these squishy days than a full size event label would have. Moving on to the 7th, I'm using a skinny event label and a phone doodle from the kit to mark in a usual meeting that we have at work, and I'm also using a bin doodle to mark in that it was one of our bin days. Moving on to the 8th, I'm using a regular event label to mark in my weightlifting class on Saturday afternoon. And then sticking my date covers down again. If I remember rightly, I pretty sticked them down uh, off camera before I did all of my writing on this spread. And since then, plus having my planner closed for a while, I haven't had the same problem. So I think they are stuck down now. Moving on to the second full week of October, I'm marking in my working from home days. And then I'm using one of the patterned quarter boxes with a drink doodle from the kit to mark in that we are going to see Frank Turner this evening. And I think this is gonna be my first like inside gig since before the pandemic, which seems bonkers to me. But anyway, moving on to the weekend, I'm marking our bin day using another bin doodle from the kit and then my weightlifting class using another regular event label also from the kit. We can then move on to the third week in October where I'm starting off marking in working from home, again using one of the laptop icons from Plannerface and then I'm marking in using a regular quarter box and the scissor doodle from the kit that I'm getting my hair cut for the first time in about a year this Tuesday. Why has it been a year? Mostly because I don't like going to get my hair cut. It's loud, it's bright, I have to make small talk with someone I don't know. Like, it just never seems to be a priority. The 21st is another squished update, so I've got a bin doodle to remind me to take the bins out. I've got the little piggy bank to let me know it's payday. It's my friend's birthday, so I'm marking that in using a solid piece of washi and the birthday present doodle again. And then also I have a standard work meeting, so again I'm using a skinny event label and the phone doodle from the kit to mark that in. The 22nd by contrast is nice and simple, I'm using a regular event label to mark in my weightlifting class. And then on the 23rd I'm using my little Scorpio symbol to mark the start of Scorpio season. Again, this is just a little sticker that I make myself and print on sticker paper, so it's just a square with an orange background and a little Scorpio symbol over the top. For the 25th I'm again marking in working from home using one of the laptop icons and then I'm marking in another bill using half of a label from the kit and the little credit card doodle from Plannerface. The 26th is my dad's birthday so again I'm using a piece of the solid washi from the kit and the birthday present doodle to mark that in. We've then got another work from home day and another bin day and then moving on to the 29th I'm using a patterned quarter box with the wine doodle from the kit to mark in our friend's Halloween party so this is the day that we're actually celebrating Halloween and then because this has taken up quite a lot of the box I'm using a skinny event label to mark in my weightlifting class in the afternoon. On the 30th, I'm using one of the solid pieces of washi from the kit to mark in that this is the day that the clocks go back. I mean, it's kind of between Saturday and Sunday, but it obviously wasn't gonna fit in the box on Saturday, so I figured Sunday was good enough. And then on the 31st, I'm using another solid piece of washi to mark in that this is Halloween. And unless I decide to take that Monday off, this is gonna be the first year that I've worked on Halloween since like I finished uni. Like I've always taken it off, or in the case of the past two years, and we've had it off anyway because it was a weekend. Interesting. I've only just noticed this while I'm recording the voiceover. As usual with my monthly spreads, I'm now going to add in four of the decorative boxes that come in the kit. So I'm peeling up the date flag and then popping the box over it, trimming it down to size and popping the date flag back over the top. I think I've said in the past couple of monthly plan with me's that I haven't had to move these around when I'm putting them in like at the beginning anymore. So I was really happy about that. But September is where that streak has ended because I had to move around some of the decorative boxes to mark in the Queen's funeral and the fact that I was doing overtime on that day. With these squished up calendars where there's six weeks in the month, uh, it's kind of annoying for putting my decorative boxes in because I have to trim off so much of the decorative box. I feel like I lose a lot of the actual like design. So I purposely picked the boxes that I think will look the best when trimmed down and then the other two decorative boxes will be added into my reflection at the end of the month so that I don't have to trim them down. Also, as you can see, I had to move some of the doodles around or at least lift up the corners so that I could put the decorative box under them where I'd left them overlapping. 
but now that I've got all of my stickers down we can go back in and fill in all of my plans for the month. So I'm starting off using the chisel tip and fine liner side of my orange passion marker to write in walkies on my mini calendar and monthly actions on my two project sections in the bottom left hand corner and then throughout the rest of the spread I'm using my silver jelly roll pen just to add in a little bit of sparkle as I have that hollow foil in the washi along the top and then also my regular pilot friction pen. So October is when things really start to feel like they're ramping up towards the end of the year for me. I don't know whether it's because this is a six week calendar spread so it's a bit squished together or because I have just put loads of plants in it right at the beginning of the month but this spread feels really full already. I'm really looking forward to a chill weekend in the forest coming up around the time that I put this video up but then after that it just feels like everything is going to be like go 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 because I've decided that this year I am going to do Plansmas again but I have already started planning it so that I'm not leaving it all until the last minute, go me. We then have like the full cohort of family things going on before Christmas so in November and December we're just full of family things for my family and my partner's family and it's just going to be a lot and also I decided that it would be a great idea to do my first weightlifting competition in December which I entered at the beginning of September and I sort of mentioned it but sort of didn't but yeah the cat's out the bag now I've decided to do a weightlifting competition because apparently I don't have enough things on my plate at the moment. I think also that being so busy is going to make these last three months of the year, which sounds terrifying to say at this point, but these last three months of the year are just going to absolutely fly by. So that is pretty much it for my October monthly spread. Remember, if you want to see how this spread evolves over the month and how much extra crap I managed to cram into it, then follow me over on Instagram so that you can see my mid-month and end-of-month spreads when I post them over there. Although this spread is super busy, I'm very happy with how spooky it is and I can't wait to get stuck into more spooky kits. Oh, and please excuse the state of the floor in this next clip. Reggie has been pulling all of the stuffing out of his bed, but I bought him this giant cuddly carrot and he absolutely loves it. So that's everything for this video friends, if you have any questions please leave them in the comments down below. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed it and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time, bye!